Hello, hello, it's Adele from Inky Quill up on the Crafty Maven today for you and I have a confession to make. The first part of this video has mysteriously disappeared and corrupted itself. So we're starting from here. So this layout is actually a 9 by 12 layout for today's Free Flu Wednesday and I will admit I did struggle with the inspiration piece. It's not my usual colours so I cheated a little bit. I took, there's a bottom photo on the inspiration piece that you would have seen that had some swirly, circly things in all rainbow colors. And I thought this acetate from the Scraptastic Just A Girl kit was freaking perfect for that. So that's my inspiration piece inspiration with this one. I don't have any purple papers. I know a lot of people have said there's no freaking purple in Scrapbooking. Where is it? Why has it been extradited? Why? Why? answer me that people why so I have no purple and uh, if you watch my channel inky quill you will know that green's not one of my fave colors so I kind of rolled with it and went with a bit of a I did pick up the yellow that was in that top photo and used up the rest of these fancy pants letters that were in my scraptastic kit as I was trying to kill this kit and I did if you have a look over on my channel you'll see the killer kit video for it and I'm just doing some paper strips in the background here because that bottom picture that I was talking about had that was like curled strips of paper and that has a name is it quilling ah <laughs> inky quilling <laughs> oh I just made a funny um so hi welcome to the crafty maven getaway this will be sadly my last video on the crafty maven getaway um I am I have three channels of my own I have inky quill which is for scrapbooking and I just reached eight and a half thousand subscribers and I'm just over the moon at that it's, it blew my mind I have let's get inky which has I think at about three and a half on that one which is fun which is nice and I have mr and mrs rad which is my vlog channel with my husband so between those three channels it's a little bit tricky to have the time for other content and things so i'm just going to focus on my my own thing for a little while but i'll still be cheering on my crafty mavens from the sidelines and watching all of their videos of course i think hannah i just have to give hannah a shout out go girl you have done an incredible job with this project it's it's humongous so thank you thank you thank you without hannah there'd be no crafty maven three cheers for hannah hip 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 the bunnies were hooraying over there they were so this is a picture of my beloved bunnies and the sunlight was just hitting them perfectly like they were posing for a freaking photo shoot or something so I decided to snap a photo and I think I call this one hello love I do believe so the background I had all these fancy pants letters just left over and I thought better than chucking them out or putting them in my stash where they will just sit forever and ever and ever i thought why not use them for a background so i put them down and it was too bright so i layered a piece of vellum over the top and stitched it so that's what i did before the camera turned itself on um i must say that i'm in love with that acetate with the circles it's a crepe paper i think it's from i think it's from shine i do believe i think i think don't quote me on that one but i think it is or well, maybe hello love I don't know, it's crepe paper anywho and it's gorgeous it's absolutely beautiful it's got gold glittery bits on it too these thickers are from my stash and I have a feeling they're the dear Lizzie ones I think and I just thought it was really cute because I do say hello hello love to them when I see them I do say hello poppet in a British accent and I do see poppet around the house <laughs> Aaron's next to me laughing because he knows it's true so now I'm used my heart punch because I had so many scraps and I just punched out a whole heap of little hearts and what I'm going to do at the end is stitch a line of stitching through those as well I'm not sure if I do do that on camera but I thought it just needed a little something up the top there it was a bit it was a bit blank and I was tossing up between outlining them as well but I didn't want them to stand out too much I just wanted to fill that space a little bit so I'm just using my glossy accents to stick that down sticky mix stick 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 and yeah this is what I'm up to 
So I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that's watched my videos over here on the Crafty Maven Getaway. Your support has just, and your beautiful comments have just been amazing. They make my day so happy when I read them. I get notifications all day through um, work and then I check them in my breaks and I get really happy and giggle at them in the like with happiness in the staff room and the other teachers look at me like I'm mad but I really enjoy reading all of your comments so thank you very very much just adding a few crepe paper words because you know me guys I can't live without my tiny word stickers I don't know what I'm going to do when these packs are empty crepe paper needs to step their game up and make some more seriously they really really do I just love them they're perfect and I think I am finished I am. So not a too long video today. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll give you a bit of a close up. I may have gone off camera and stitched the hearts. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So this was a way to use up those little scrappy strips of paper that you have left over from a paper pad or a collection and you just want to use them up. This is a great way to use them up. And thickers, you could do this exact same thing but with thickers in the background. So thanks for watching guys and enjoy my other fellow crafty mavens. Bye!